In this video, we're going to be going over how to add a new person and assign a badge to that person to allow them to access the doors on your system. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to the top and select Access Control, and then we're going to select New. Now this page will allow you to name your user. So for this example, I'm going to call mine Test User. Now the next thing we're going to do is go down here to Card Assignments. Go ahead and click that. This will allow you to assign a badge to the user we just created. So let's go ahead and hit Add Card Assignment. Uh, the Display Card Number column is going to be where you add the card number that is found on the badge you assigned to your user. For this example, I'm going to use 12345 as my card number. Next, we're going to see the Active On and Expires On columns. The Active On is the day that the badge will start working, and the Expires On is the day that the badge will automatically expire. So for example, say I didn't want my user to be able to use their badge until 225, we can go ahead and select change this to 25 here. So now this user will not be active until 225, 2018 at 12 a.m. So they will not be able to use their badge until then. The expires on column is almost the exact opposite. It's when the badge will automatically expire. So let's say for, so right now, um, the badge would expire automatically on 2-24-2019 at 1.37 p.m. So let's say I'm anticipating that my user will be hired at my company for longer than a year. We can go ahead and change this end date to 2022. So now this user will automatically expire on 2-24-2022 at 1.37 p.m. So now that we've done that, we can go down to the bottom here and hit Save. And then we can go back to our Person Information tab. Now we can assign the user an access level. This access level will tell you which doors they're allowed to access to and at what times. So let's go ahead and hit Assign Access Level. And then we're going to go ahead and select this drop-down menu. For my example, I want my user to only have access to the data room from 6 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. So I'm going to go ahead and select this access level here. And then we're going to go down to the bottom and hit Save. So now my user test user with card 12345 has access to the data room from 6 a.m. to 7.30 p.m.